Hey guys, welcome to a morning edition of Fangirls Assemble. I even called it, I didn't use our usual format. I didn't put episode <laughs> number. I was like, coffee with fangirls. Who knows what episode it is anyway. It's right? special. I, honestly, they're miscounted. Because oh, oh yeah, we, we didn't even count the first ones for sure, right? No, and then at one point I put the wrong episode number for, I think, a little bit. <laughs> so I love Hayden it. knows how many episodes there are. Um, I have no idea. It's at least 117. Which feels crazy. At least, but I know it's more than that. I know. It's how are we even doing this? I don't know. Someone <laughs> knows. So Elliot, do you know? <laughs> Elliot doesn't know. He'll go check now because it's a bit be like challenge accepted. But yeah, sorry, running late. Have, we should put random numbers <laughs> just see if anyone notices. 658 you know, episodes. And I thought about just taking it off because I'm like, the bros don't have it. And I was like, it started, the, it made sense at the beginning. And now I'm like, I have to look at it every time, <laughs> which is apparently so but now much we can work be like, for me. We have more episodes than they do, but like, just we lie. don't. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> So, hey, you know what's not a lie? Our Inside fabulous Trace. sponsor. <laughs> yes, having the best deals. That's not a lie. You know, it's great. I've still been getting mail from them. I know USPS, it's been hard. But they've still been pulling through. Every time, and I talked about last time, their packaging, y'all, it's not a joke, okay? Every package I've gotten, it looks like someone just kickboxed it. Because, you know. Especially right now. They're busy. Right like, now, I've yeah. seen some pictures of, like. Trucks you know. just stacked with, yeah, <laughs> I get it. Uh, and every time my book's fine, so it's it's wonderful. They have the best deals still around to this day. You gotta check them out. And you know, one thing you can get there is what we're gonna talk about today, which is this beautiful clover hardcover. Oh, this is a this is a this is a big old girl, it's a chonky, it's a chonky and girl, it's a, yeah. And the pages, I didn't realize this. I kept thinking they would be glossy like a lot of the deluxe manga, but they're not. They're like a nice matte. It's uh, not as a cheap matte as like regular manga, but it's nice. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Vis like visually, you won't be able to tell. But, um, no. but yeah, it's a nice matte. It's smooth. Yeah. You know, we like touching our books. Yeah, it's, it's a good feeling book. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's is, good I mean, night. you know, regardless of the content. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a beautiful book. <laughs> I'm glad that you said yeah, because I think we're going to think the same thing. Uh, Elliot, the face feel. Thank you for asking. Oh. Um, it's okay. Well, you know. This is, not this is, it's not, I don't want to put it on my it's, face. It's not made for faces. <laughs> no. It's a nice so. feel. You know, there's it's, a little glossy where the wings are. Some spot gloss. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. But, not on my face. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and, Beautiful, and I still want to buy all the clamp books, even regardless if I end up liking them or not, because they're pretty. They they are all pretty. You know, it's a problem. It's a it pretty a problem. problem. So this book, I am not sure if I read this as a kid. So I read, I read a lot of clamp manga when I was younger. I don't have a recollection of a lot of it. Card capture soccer, of course, um, just because that was like already a cartoon as well. Hmm. which I recommend you watch once at least for the dope ass English theme song we had in America, because it does not match the Japanese one, which Tina knows, but the English <laughs> one is hilarious okay. as it should be. Um, it. <laughs> it's very dramatic, but, uh, and I read like wish and Chobit. Um, so I, I know those, I can't remember if I read this. And so a uh, quick si side story, not side story, just related to this. So this morning, I realized I hadn't read it yet. I panicked. <laughs> I, I kept remembering the show was this time. And then for some reason, I yeah. didn't think, oh, I should go ahead and read the book. It's this morning. I was like, shit. <laughs> I, I didn't know where it was. That's funny. I found it. It's fine. But I started to read online. And then while I was reading online, I, I remembered where it was. And as I was reading online, I was like, this trans, this is, just feels really disjointed. <laughs> All the dialogue. I was like, this got to be a weird translation a, or something. A fan scan, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It just felt weird, especially in the beginning when... The word pedophile was used pretty quickly. Uh, so it was the word bitch. Yeah. And I was like, this is weird. This has got to be weird. Like, let's say. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, wait, I know where my book is. It's inside my coffee table. It's like a lift top. So I went and got it. And I read it. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's exactly what it is. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> on the back, this is described as a sci fi fable. I don't know how else to describe this book. It was. <laughs> bizarre it was so weird there's this girl <laughs> let me find her 
Oh, yeah. If her I name can. Is, her name is Sue. There's also a lot of white space in these pages. Oh, so oh you yeah. You probably read it like in no problem, like probably five minutes or something. <laughs> oh no, I took my time because it. And the reason is, because I, I can be, I'm a fast reader, but that's I read fast when the dialogue mm. works like that. Mm -hmm. This didn't. That's fair. Yeah, I guess we should give the summary real quick. So this guy who used to work for the military. This guy, this guy who worked for something? Yeah. He worked for something. <laughs> He's like a private eye detective sort of deal right now. There's a lot of sci-fi words thrown around. Uh, the world is run by five sorcerers, I guess. Uh, and so they're like, hey, we're gonna put you in this job. And he's like, but I've almost been arrested so many times for no reason given to us, right? And they're like, no, but you're the only man who can do this job. So we're bringing you in, because if not, I will blackmail you. And he's like, oh, okay. And like, you have to take this girl to the place she wants to go. And he's like, okay, but where is the place? And she, they're like, not, nah, can't tell you. Like, okay. And so he picks up this girl and there's not really an interaction between them quickly. It's like everything, is, it, imagine something edited very jump shotty. Yeah. You know? There's no, it doesn't it's feel a great good. way to put it. Yeah. So like <laughs> there, he gets a girl and then he takes him to like his friend he works with ish, uh, who also has a young boy in his care and they keep making weird jokes about it. Yeah. They're like, Oh, you pedophile, you have a little boy now. And, and then back to him was like, oh, you have a little girl now? And everybody's like, <laughs> everybody ever has it be reading it. <laughs> That's right. The reader. And so they help them get to a place, but like some weird things happen in the way that don't get them to the place. And everyone's wanting to get this girl, which they don't explain why until a, a lot further on the book. And eventually they get to the place. <laughs> and it's like a theme park. So basically like... <laughs> It, it overcomplicates it, but she, she's she been in the cage her entire life. She just wants to be happy. Her wish is for happiness. And the only way to do that, she wants basically this guy to take her because she knew his ex-girlfriend who died. Yep. Basically. They and sang together. They sang a song together. <laughs> and that song um, is prominently featured. Yeah, let me tell you. Throughout. They don't let you forget there's a song. Well, that's <laughs> it is... It's, it's like reading um, a kind of bad, I don't know how much fan fiction you read on fanfiction.net. Oh, so much. Okay, so yeah. for those who don't know, on fanfiction.net, there's a lot of fan fictions about shows where they're like, it's going to be themed around a song. So they'll have the song lyrics put song throughout. breaks throughout the yeah, character. Throughout the, yeah, because it's supposed yeah. to match with you. You're supposed to listen to the song while you read it. Um, that's kind of what this felt with, but a little more jarring. It's like, okay, we already heard the song. You don't have to keep putting the song... I think it's also, it's also jarring because, you know, I think we've talked about this music in comics before, and it does yeah. not always translate well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some people so, do it well. Some people That's do why well. I think That's it's like true. a one time. It's fine. Like uh, Jim and the Holograms did it great. Oh, absolutely. Very well. Um, some other ones I can think of. But like, yeah, it was so, it was so heavily featured. And because we've never heard the song, we don't know what to imagine while we read it other than i could i didn't even think of it as a song as i read it it just felt like disjointed poetry or something i just ignored weird. it every time because i was like okay was, like here's a page of it <laughs> like, yes yeah, so they just keep putting it throughout it's, all, it's basically all like take me away blah blah, blah. Yeah, here's here's some more at the bottom of this like why and it's everywhere. It is so, so often featured. And it was hard to ignore. Like, I read it, but I it, I never connected with it. I never really thought about what it was saying. I was just like, I hate this. I hate I know. how often this is happening. And Clamp can be really good. And it's, it's, it can be very beautiful. They can write, you know, really good stories. But this one was so... There was no fluidity be between scenes. Um, it really read like a bad fan fiction for a show, honestly, <laughs> because the, the dialogue didn't connect and there was a weird, I, mean, I feel like they wanted us to have a weird romantic a song. Like, just... thing between the two of them, but that didn't really connect. Yeah. And also she was young and they kept telling us how young she was. And so I was is like, that... is, this, is this supposed to be a familial love? Because she said, I love, you know, his ex girlfriend too. Because yeah. that was like that... a, 
That was weird. So when you find that out, and there's these flashbacks of him and his ex-girlfriend, who he loved, and that made the present day even more weird, because when you find out they knew each other, you're like, what is this? Some weird stalker thing? Like, and then it felt like, (laughs) right? Yeah. And then we get to the point where they overcomplicate it all, because, like, at at its core, it's just, like, a story about this girl who's been alone her entire life trying to find happiness through the only way she knows how, like from what she's heard from this one person that she connected with in the outside world, which at its core could be a really good story, but they also really want to drive home this clover system. Mm -hmm. So she's a four leaf clover. She's the only one. So basically there's this clover system where they take these young children and do experiments on them. um, And then they get powers or whatever, which why would they do that? Because, Immediately, they're like, we have five sorcerers running the kingdom, and we could together maybe take down a three-leaf clover, but a four-leaf clover? No way. Like, And they're like, we, she has to be alone, because if she ever falls in love with somebody or attaches to somebody, they'll have power over her, and they'll have her power, you know, like be able to, like, use her for their benefit. And I'm like, why couldn't she just do it on her own? Why yeah. couldn't she just wreck your ship by herself? Yeah. And she never what? fights, so I don't know what her abilities are. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, that's never shown, is it? Like she No, there's like she's a four leaf clover. Whoa. Yeah, she, ooh, don't mess she with never her. does anything. She has to be protected. So I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> and so there's a four leaf clover. Then there there's three, three leaf clovers. There were. One died. The other two are twins, which they give us a story about at the end for no reason. <laughs> I I didn't care about that guy's backstory in the beginning. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. But then they overcomplicated this thing. I don't understand why. And then there's some two leaves. We find one of them for no reason. Uh, I think you're summing it up well. There's a lot of no reason throughout this whole thing. Yeah, like, and then um, this Aura, is a story Anne's girlfriend, no is a reason. one-leaf clover. Which the only thing about her is like she knows she's going to die. Yeah. But I don't <laughs> like, know anyone I, else's ability. Terrible power. Like, and it only means that one of the guy, the, the bodyguard for, this sounds so dumb. The bodyguard for the three-leaf clover, they made, he's a two-leaf clover. And the only reason they did that was so they could like make it serious and be like, you guys can't hang out because if you guys hang out, that basically makes you a five leaf clover and we can't defeat you. And I'll, so he's like, I'll put a thing in my brain that if I fuck up, you could just kill me. Like, what? I, if anyone watching is confused, that's how we felt. I think the, the whole time, just like, what um, is happening? This is a one and done. So yeah. if you are interested, it is pretty. I think it's an art book. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I think that's worth it, you know? The spine's um, very nice too. It's got that uh, matrixy <laughs> situation happening. Yes, this is a one and done. All this is contained in there, which is which is part of the reason we got it. Because we're like, okay, we don't have to worry about buying multiple volumes. We can go ahead and check this out. Um, and I, the price is covered on mine, but I think it's like um, regular price is thirty five. Thirty five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one downside, though, if you are into collecting like multiple from a publisher, mm. um, so for Clamp this does not match the deluxes of any of the other series. So the downside is Clamp has a lot of beautiful deluxe versions of their comics right now. Chobits has a new one that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, Card Capture Sakura. But this doesn't match the size. This is slightly bigger. Which is nice for us because we oh, like yeah. the over- super oversized editions. But yeah, I have the Chobits and it's I, it's so much smaller than this. It's like not quite half the size, but kind of. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, uh, overall, this wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> it really I, wasn't uh, good. I don't know that I'd recommend it. It's kind of like you said. <laughs> if, you, if you're if you into Clamp already, you'll probably want to have it for your collection. It, it is beautiful. But that's about it. Yeah. I think the worst part is, like you said, it was so disjointed. I never cared about any of the characters. Really? I mean, even the main one. I was just like, I don't. I don't care about you because you're being weird with this guy and the guy doesn't care about you, but you're, you want to be with him. Like I, it was, it was weird. Well, the dialogue yeah. never fit. Yeah. It just never flowed. It always felt really awkward. And then, yeah, the scene changes are so fast. Oh my gosh. And, and, and like they get off the plane, a guy is there <laughs> and the guy apparently cut off that guy's arm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Did he oh, kill his wife or his girlfriend? No one ever talked about that. Look at the, the, some of these weird choices they made. <laughs> like, they went never... really 
Ew, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Here's more of the song. I just can't with the song. It's like they were like, oh shit, we really gotta turn this book in. Oh man, it's yeah. gotta be so many pages. I throw some more songs in, uh, some white space. Um, There's so much, yeah, so much negative space throughout this whole thing. I mean, not, not a not, lot happened. And not well done. And the problem is too, like, a lot of manga, there's a consistency with how the the, the speech bubbles and thought bubbles mm. are are laid out, and it's it's done that way on purpose. So it's easier you your mind naturally goes through and reads it like you would a comic book, right? But this yeah. felt so just everywhere that your your brain had to constantly switch how it was reading yeah. it. Like here's a good example. Like how do you even follow the? I mean, obviously we could figure that out, but it's just so random. <sighs> it does not make for an enjoyable experience. No, it's just like. It was so back and forth. And okay, this is like a, a chapter break or whatever. And they would just have like a random sub title. And that's how you knew that something else was starting, I guess. Like, it's just, like, what? And the font choices were bothering me a lot. <laughs> so, like, oh, yeah. The song font choices were a mess. I didn't love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The because plant, nice. plant is. Yeah. It's distinct. Yeah. Uh, I don't regret owning it. But I don't like it. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm, totally I'm, with I'm you. just like a crazy person being like, and then the four star system. And that was just four <laughs> star. They can control these three stars, but three stars can't recognize four stars. And, and that wasn't even a big part of the book. No. It was just like, no. here's that for some reason. Here you go, and you're done. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, Lloyd. I just jumped in. So Clamp, um, I need to not assume people know. <laughs> so Clamp is uh, like a, ma a manga uh, publisher. Like it's like a writing house almost um, in in Japan. So Clamp is done instead of having like one person or group of people that work on the manga together, uh, which makes them I think pretty distinct, really compared to other. Yeah, they were, thank you. Good. It's a group of lady manga cause. Yeah, so they wrote Card Capture Sakura, um, uh, Subasa Chronicles, Chobits, Wish. Um, I don't. Uh, um, X. Uh, X X X Holic. Holic, yeah. Uh, they, I think they Koki us actually too. Um, but yeah, they're like they got start actually. And what's funny about them is that before they got into like making their own works, manga works, they just did doujinshi, which is like fan manga. So they made fan manga for like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what they got started before they got into like making their own stuff. Like, oh, Imagine Night Rare. That's another big uh, clamp mm. one. Um, but yeah, it's 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 mostly shoujo manga. Um, but they have a variety of stories. Like it's hard to even say that they all fit the same one. Like Card Capture Sakura is a magical girl. Um, Magic Knight Rare could be constituted as a magical girl, but it's more like an isekai, which is like people wake up in the um, a different fantasy land. They're like regular people. They wake up somewhere else, which is a manga trope. Um, or you know, robot stuff with Chobits. Yeah. And then Tsubasa Chronicles, which is just taking all of their characters from Clamp and then putting them in a different universe together. So it's That's good fun. that we read this, right? Because yeah. I, yeah, I want to yeah, read yeah. Tsubasa Chronicles. So if we see some clovers, some four leaf, three leaf, two leaf, one leaf. Maybe they'll be more interesting there. <laughs> We're going to know. Yeah. <laughs> they There were some good bones in this that I think you could have done some cool stuff with. Yeah. I Maybe if they took out the song. Uh, and that, really put time and effort into something else. I think that got me the most. And you know, I read the first volume of Chobits and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it reads very differently. Amanda, my friend, are you there to you? Is it me? Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> I thought it was me that was frozen, not her. <laughs> Christy, come back. Oh, it wasn't me. Okay. So, so sometimes when I when somebody else freezes, I just sit here. Um, because I'm like, okay, maybe it's me. So I don't want to look weird if it freezes on me. But it was not me. I'm back. Sorry for uh jumping out like that. I thought I had to leave and come back, but it looks like it's just Kristen. <laughs> we both left. I was <laughs> I couldn't tell. Everything was black, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to restart it. I didn't know what's happening. So we both just dipped out of the stream. <laughs> hey, it's still going. So uh, that works. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes if somebody else freezes, I just sit there. I'm like, okay. Because I think maybe it's me. Well, and like, that's what if... happened to me. <laughs> so I don't know who it was. Do you know? <laughs> I think it was you. Okay. Because everyone said I didn't freeze. Okay. Cause like everything started shutting down, so I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna restart." I don't know. So then I just panicked. I was like, "Oh, oh, we can come back." <laughs> Welcome back. Good times. So yeah, uh, Clover. If you my, if you want to have it to complete your collection, do it. Or if you want to, you know, make sure you're reading all the clamp stuff, read it. It's not good. I would <laughs> give it like a two out of ten. That's how I feel. You know, because like it's I don't hate it. I just it just really wasn't good. It wasn't anything. Yeah, because there's some we've read some stuff this year. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. That was one star. But yeah, this is a, probably a, a two. A two. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I'm just glad they didn't actually get romantically intertwined because I was really worried we were going there because in the beginning yeah. they were like pedophilia when they hadn't named it, and I, and like this girl's really yeah. young. Well, your boy's really young, and I was like, no. Yeah, real no. weird <laughs> right off the bat. But uh, yeah, thankfully it does not go down that route. Oh. <sighs> Well, I'm sorry my internet broke. Uh, that's okay. That's fun. It matches uh, my phone because I don't know what carrier you have. But oh, do you have AT&T? AT&T AT is down here. Yeah. Yeah. It's down like everywhere, right? Uh, it's because of Nashville. So yeah. I heard it blew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone. LA has been having the same issue. Well, yep. uh, what else is new? Uh, happy Christmas. Yeah. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy Yule. I uh, I worked on Christmas. Yeah, and I, I just got off a little bit ago. Uh, that's why we were a little late. I was I was a tiny bit late. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you everyone for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Hayden has a good question. Uh, I would rather read after the fall. I would do. This. At least I... after the fall is a book. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Though that's the perfect way to put it. There's a beginning and a middle and an end. There is. Yeah, it's a story. And it's something that I can follow. Yeah. Even if we don't love it, we don't love following it. We can follow it. <laughs> yeah. This was like a fever dream. Somebody was high. They wrote this. <laughs> or they were like 12 and they were I writing mean, a fan fiction. A fan fic. Yeah, it's definitely a fan fic. I'm like, what, <laughs> what TV shows is a fan fic of? I don't know. It doesn't exist, but... <laughs> Yeah. You know what? You know what maybe happened? The writers of Stranger Things saw this and they were like, one week, one leaf, two leaf, three, and more like 11. Let's do this. This oh, is so shit. much better. Yeah. So <laughs> throw that in the garbage. Go watch Stranger Things. That's right. That's right. I wonder if the comic for that's any good because there's a comic. Uh, I read, se there's several now. Um, I read the main series. I read like two volumes of that and I liked it. A lot of it's just digging deeper into like stuff they're not showing. Yeah. And there was one about like Will when he was in the upside down. Okay. And kind of like right after, and that one was good. So yeah, there's some good ones. <sighs> to check it out. Sorry, I'm like I'm with you. A near sneeze. <laughs> it's a weather change here. Yeah, it's been bad. It's Kentucky, guys. It's so bad. It was like 13 degrees last night and now it's better. What is it? 25? 25 here. Yeah. Something. <laughs> so um, I don't have any new book like uh, reads or anything to talk about, but I am seeing Wonder Woman today. So oh, no yeah. spoilers. Because I have people who have already seen it because it's on HBO Max. But uh, part of my Christmas present is that I get to go, we ran out of theater to go see it. So a private theater so I can go see it <laughs> and safely. Awesome. Um, so I'm seeing it today like at 1.30. And I'm, I'm excited, but uh, man, the internet, it's like because it oh. was on HBO Max, everybody's like, nah, fuck you. All yeah. the spoilers. Immediately. Yeah, you have to avoid the whole internet. Worse than Mandalorian, honestly. 
Yeah. People are like, y'all want to know what's going to happen? I like, I don't know too much because I've, I've done a good job of like, if I see anything, I run away. Mm-hmm. But like, I know about one thing I didn't know about. It's to the point where like, I felt this for uh, Mandalorian too. Avoid the trending page. <laughs> like more oh, than yeah. anything. No. Because like, I did that and I was like, oh, because uh, I've caught up to the Mandalorian now. But you know, someone was trending who you can imagine. And I was like, oh, I kind of can assume what happens here. And that's what right. happened. So. Yeah. Well, luckily I have people like Hayden messaging me like, don't look at the internet <laughs> for either of them. Like I can't, I can't open up TikTok at all. Yeah. And like Twitter is still dangerous because I follow a lot of comic book people, right? Mm-hmm. And luckily it's mostly just people saying like they really liked it, which makes me feel hopeful. Like Gail said really great things. Um, I follow some other people like Matt Centauri and some other people that are like, this really feels like real Wonder Woman. Um, uh, on my Facebook, it's been different reactions, which I love seeing the dichotomy of that. I've seen the same thing. Yeah. Right? Isn't yeah. it interesting? It's uh, so like my comic book people on Twitter, they're all like, yes, loved it. And Gail loves it, which that's all I care about, right? Yeah. And then uh, on Facebook with like our comic book groups and stuff, I've already seen some like, I don't know. Yeah, so or like Mulan, I hate Mulan it. was better than <laughs> Wonder Woman two. I was like, you know, I still haven't heard, seen that. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I I listened to a podcast about it, and I was like, um, y'all. I mean, I, I, I've I, watched a lot of versions of Mulan. Like, I speak Chinese. I've watched a lot of dramas about it, and I'm like, y'all really didn't even try with oh, this one, did you? <laughs> that's a bummer. <clears throat> but what are you gonna do? Yeah. So, um, you have a Christmas haul at all? Like, I know what we talk about later, but anything new? Yeah, I have stuff that's not in this room. <laughs> yeah, my my cousin from me is in the other room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll talk about that sometime. <laughs> I'm like, what have I read? I don't know. I did start reading last night. I have not finished it, and it's getting so much hate that I just had to read it, and I got Ooh. it from my library, which is Joker Killer Smile by Jeff Lemire. I thought people liked that. I've I, I think I own that book. Do you? <laughs> I think maybe the first issue because the issues look like oh, both. Yeah, that's I true. I do. So I've only heard bad stuff. Oh. Like Jess hated it. Okay. Oh, I gotta know. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, I don't mind to... me. I'm I'm open up DC Universe to go ahead and add it to my, yeah, my do playlist. It. Um. I've only started it. I've read like the first issue, so I don't know yet. I'm not seeing the hate yet, but I'm not barely in it. Yeah. So, do you know? Oh, man. <laughs> but I've so far, do you even know do you know what it's about? Because I had no idea. No, no idea. I just well, bought it because the cover looks cool. Um yeah, I think I bought it right after it came out. Yeah. And then never read it. <laughs> um that's I think I did the same thing with the first book because I was like, it's Lemire, I'll read this. And I didn't. But um so far the first issue was um this this psychiatrist going to see Joker in his prison cell. You know, the things you've seen, right? Yeah, the usual. Yeah. Um, some guy. And oh, hi. Not a yeah, it's a guy. So he wants to, like, fix him against something you've seen, right? And he's slowly going crazy because of it. So that's all I got so far. I um, mean, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm interested. And I'm kind of, I'm just wondering. I'm like, where is this, like, where's the hate coming from? Yeah. And, and again, I've only one issue I don't know yet. Maybe I'll find that out, assuming. But uh, yeah, everything I've heard is just bad. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to read this. Yeah, now I have to. Yeah. I bet that's on here. I'll have to check. Because luckily DC Universe now is doing like six months out. Oh, yeah? Which is nice. So that's like cool. you can catch up on stuff. <laughs> Are they doing Black Label too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that's Black Label. Yeah. Which is... Man, I love their their interface is so much better than Marvel and Luna. I, I need to I need to do a show really bad, like yeah. but one where I can like maybe do some pre put in stuff about it, um, like show the interfaces of the website. Yeah, and stuff. Or share honestly, your screen and like yell at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, man, it's so nice. And there's some Marvel stuff I need to read. Like uh, I've got to read all of Hickman's Fantastic Four or whatever. Oh yeah. And, I That's a lot. can't use Marvel Unlimited. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we're splitting it up into two. Oh, okay. But I'm going to forget. Luckily, I have time off. <laughs> oh, uh, Johnny loves your hoodie, Chris. Oh, thank you. It gets uh, goes down into like nothing. 
It's very soft. <laughs> I said I read it as it was coming out. It's a book that exists. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. You know, I don't know yet. Yeah, Lloyd said it was just uh, a pointless Joker book, is what Jess said. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he told me that because I was asking him about it. You know, I, I told him, I was like, I'm curious if I'm going to have a different reaction simply because I haven't read a lot of Joker stories. Yeah, you could because I haven't really read much either. Like, I read ones where he's there and I've read all of, like, New 52 Batman. Yeah. Um, and, like, all of the crossovers for, like, that big, like, death of the family deal. Yeah. But uh, I'm also not a Joker fan. I don't yeah. know, really, I just, I'm not, I think I'm tired of him. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't care really. <laughs> like, but, yeah. uh, you know, so far I know this is the Harley thing that they're doing, but it's some other character that I know that much. Right. Yeah. Punch so I'm just curious how that's going to like change. Yeah. I want to read about her. Um, I just, I need to know <laughs> what her deal is. Everybody's cosplaying her already too. And I was like, well, that's crazy. <laughs> But at least all the new Harley Quinn books have been really good. I've been really happy with those. I fall in love with her. I've realized that like before, I think I didn't read her because of the way that she was like romanticizing on everybody's merch and the kind of people that really liked her. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was like my own like weird, like I'm not one of those girls thing. Yeah. Which is unfortunate when it, when it happens. She's like, oh shit, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not one of those girls who likes Harley <laughs> Quinn. I'm not going to be like that. Right. But then I, She's great. The stories are great. Like, there was no reason for me to act that way towards her just because she was popular, you know? Well, that's the hard thing, right? Because it transcends, like, comics to that point. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of those girls who aren't reading it. And, hey, that's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. It totally, it totally is. You know. And, like, I felt the same way about Deadpool. Because mm -hmm. coming from a, a comic and anime convention background oh, yeah. for, you know, those are oh, everywhere. my God, over a decade. That's so weird. Um <laughs> The dead people were obnoxious. And so I was like, I'm never, I don't care. But I saw the movie. I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. I, I love it. He's great. I'm with you. I'm with you. But I still haven't read the comics, actually, so I need to. Oh, man. Because I know I'll like them. The Gary uh, the Gary Duguid run is so good. We should do it a Deadpool yeah. weekend or something. We should. I'm in. Uh, Lloyd said, I've heard negative things about Lois Lane by Rucka, which is shocking because I like almost everything Rucka writes. Really? So that's something I just um, checked out from Hoopla. Because I was like, it's Rucka. I yeah. don't. It's not a Superman title. So I, was I, like, lo I, I love I Lois. Get behind, I could get behind Lois. Yeah. yeah. I liked her in the show <laughs> back in the day, right? <laughs> Lois With Dean Kane. That's right. Man, Dean Kane. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Well, yeah. Uh, I forget about that. I know. But yeah. I Okay. I'm going to check that out then. Because like, I, I've never not liked a Rucka book. I feel the same. I've only read good. That's why I was like, oh, I'll check this out because I love him. And that makes me think it's going to be like crimey. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh, I love crimey. Like, and she's a reporter. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm making an assumption there. I don't know. But, um, well, we're both, we're both into true crime. So, like, yeah. detective sort of deals, like noir stuff, yes. like mystery. I like the that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that sounds great. But I love I Lois. I think she's, I think she's just neat. I, I like when she became seen. Superwoman for a little bit. That was cool. That's fun. We yeah. should read that. Uh, we should read that together, maybe. Let's do it. I um, want to read some more DC stuff anyways. It's funny that Lloyd says he's heard negative things. We're like, oh, we'll read it. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you ever feel like I do that a lot? I'm just like, because I'm interested in knowing what everyone thinks about stuff. Negative reviews don't offend me. If it's something I love, too, or like something I'm interested in, like that just makes me more interested and like, OK, I want to read that and see where my opinions are. I mean, yeah, because I trust is, you. Like, there's a difference, right? Because yeah. like if you say something's like garbage to you, I'm like, yeah, I'll probably think that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, because I think a lot of our opinions differ from some people and that's okay. Like, I'm not gonna, unlike some people online, I'm not gonna attack people about it. Well, and that's what I don't get, right? Like, cause we, we once did a review on here. We had a lot of problems with the book <laughs> and a lot of people had a lot of problems with our problems. And it's like, hey, I'm really happy if you love a thing that I didn't like great i mean that's great i want people to like stuff but you know if we're going to talk about a thing we're going to talk about a thing right yeah so 
Well, like we we really love um, Roxanne Gay's The Banks. The Banks. Everyone hates The Banks. Everyone. I mean, like, <laughs> wants to fight you over The Banks. Oh my gosh. And I love The Banks, so I have to like champion for this book. I'm like, yeah. no, guys. Just let me defend The Banks. Oh, I know. <laughs> and people are like, this book, shit, never read it. And they're like, yeah, I. If you say that, then we're like, please no, yeah, please, please, please just try it. Yeah. I just but, want us all to like happily love and hate books together. That's all. Yeah, exactly. Without being mean to each other. Yeah. Like people wanted to like, I think straight up murder me. I was like, I don't really think, I don't like Sandman. I thought it was okay. Like <laughs> yeah. canceled. Here's <laughs> like, the thing. I'm if so we hard. read Essex County together, cause we did and you loved it, thankfully. But if yeah. you didn't, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. It's still a book I love. Like that's not good. Yeah, and you didn't eat it like Red Claudia as much as I did, but that's okay. I didn't hate it though. Yeah, exactly. So you know. Uh Hayden says the Harley one by Connor and Palmiotti is God Tier 52. I didn't even read it. I do want to read that too. We yeah. Do that. It's just just gonna keep saying that to everything. We should read that together. Let's just read it. <laughs> well, because that's when I get to read stuff the most with you. Yeah. Um just finished Ruckus Wonder Woman loved it. Yeah, well, oh. Nice. Have you read Rekha's Wonder Woman? No. <gasps> Can we read that one together? I, I still haven't read a Wonder Woman comic. <gasps> okay, next month. I'm into that. Can we read Rekha's Wonder Girl, Woman? Girl, don't say next month. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, February. <laughs> I'm like, don't do this to me. I can't read everything. <laughs> no, never mind. February. I'm going to make that. I'm in. I'm in I'm gonna February. Make, I'm going to make that graphic this weekend, too. But um, <laughs> yeah, February. What were, you know, what were we going to do? Oh, Girl. Anticipated Reads. That's it. I was oh, like, what shit. were those two other shows? Okay, yeah, so Hall we have that reads, one. Anticipated Reads, something. Something. Well, if anyone in the chat, thank you for joining us this early, by the way. If you have a something that we can do next month, because we're doing One Piece, that's what we're reading. That's it. Okay. <laughs> we, can't, we can't handle more. I can't handle more. Maybe Maddie can. She reads, she'll read it in one day. But I can't do it. <laughs> so if you have a, a topic idea let us know right now and we will uh, write that down and be happy about it one that's not a review yeah definitely rock is one in february because man made me fall in love with her i mean i already was but like i'm writing it now uh he said i've heard ruckus lowest book is like a lois lane spy thriller Ooh. Oh. see that's what we want how is that bad um, I thought Rekha's Lois Lane was good, but swerved from the political to the supernatural somewhat unexpectedly. Oh, okay. I could see where that would be jarring. That sounds kind of fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Blah, blah, garbage, but blah, blah. <laughs> uh, can we read Wonder Woman Dead Earth together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I just got that from Hoopla. Well, yeah, read, uh, that's Reed's man. So we all want to read that here. Gotta read it. Uh, when you christen to read the Hikatea, yeah, that's a that's a big, a lot of people's favorite um, story in the Rucka book. Mm. My favorite is when she writes Medusa that she goes blind, but Ooh. she has to keep fighting blind that's for fun. a while. She's blind for a while, like too long. No, I loved it. Oh, okay. Because she's like, no, nah, fuck you, I'll keep doing my business. I was like, oh. nice. And she has a friend who's a minotaur that lives in her house and cooks. <laughs> That's exciting. I know. <laughs> I love it. I want a I want a friendly minotaur to live in my house. Be my Tell friend. Yeah. Be my chef. You have room now. I do. <laughs> Put him in the basement. Ooh, one piece in a month of canvas on my Twitter yeah. channel. Yeah. So I'll be yeah. posting about it. Um, I just need to put some graphics together that like I don't know. With some like, impor like important info, like we're doing this in a month, like this is, you know, from this date to this date, average is this much a, a day, right? And then our personal goals will be like 250 each week, just to yeah. keep up with it. Uh, you should make that graphic just so I can keep it and know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. <laughs> That's on my to do for today. Because I want to post it today so I can post tomorrow's graphic to her. Yeah, it's funny. You know, and we can just reshare it every once in a while. Perfect. Uh, I'm working New Year's Eve. Yeah. Into New Year's. So I'm like, because I'm I'm being strict about it. I'm not starting until the first. Okay. I want to do this in an actual month. I'm not going to cheat. Okay. So I'm bringing some One Piece to work that night. Yeah. So when it's midnight, I can be like, okay. 
now well, the time. Once I am not working, but you know, once I take a break, yeah, that's it. I'm excited. I suppose and terrified. I, I'm excited because I, I was talking to Hayden because Hayden uh, said he already started One Piece Head of Schedule. Nice. Um, Cheater, but nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, because I, I, I started later. So I have a, a, you know, a pretty good working knowledge of the beginning. So I, I tried to watch some. I've watched like everyone's origin story and I've gone back and watched some different stuff, but I didn't read till later. Um, like way later. Because I caught up <laughs> by the time Luffy gets to gear forth, which will make sense to you eventually. Okay. Uh, he looks like a, a silly little man. I don't know <laughs> what that design choice was. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to go back and read it and also like <clears throat> see stuff that maybe I missed. Because now that yeah, I'm, fun. you know, up to date pretty much, like this will be a really fun way for me to like catch stuff before. Mm hmm. Because so are you, are you going to actually like reread everything you've read mm -hmm. too? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Cause one, it'll help me get in the mood for uh, chapter 1000. Cause that's the other big reason why, yeah. right? Cause like chapter 1000 is dropping in January. So it's a good way for us to celebrate and get into it. Mm -hmm. um, but Oda, he put stuff way early in the comic book and throughout. That's like a little Easter out way later. Foreshadowing and stuff. Uh-huh. He, nice characters that you don't think anything about that are going to be a big deal later people in the background like there are no plot holes and what it's just like it doesn't happen that's amazing which is great so like i'm really excited to go back and be like oh shit so this is what that was <laughs> oh oh man you know i'm excited that's fun um <clears throat> robin says currently reading fraction fraction superman pal jimmy olsen i really like it so far i do want to read that really bad one, I like Fraction. Two, a book about Jimmy Olsen sounds great. I really like that. Uh, I imagine a graphic for this One Piece read is going to be you being both being crushed by books. <laughs> that's, that's that's fun. That's Make that read. Yeah, we need some uh, One Piece fan art for me and Kristen. Of yeah, us. Put straw hats on our heads. That's all I know. <laughs> Uh, can you each say the book you're most excited for in 2021? Ooh. What's on my prayers? I think the one I'm most excited for is All New Wolverine Omnibus. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Ooh, so excited. Can you remind me before that comes out? It's like a yes. pre-order. Um, What's the best way to pre-order that, by the way? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do the IST thing. They're getting more now, so I'm not worried about it. Like, does that mean you're going through DCBS or, or you mean like I see the day oh, of? Yeah, day of, yeah. Okay. It's lately they've uh, ordered enough and it hasn't been an issue. So, okay. I'm going to pre order on Amazon so I don't forget it, but so I'll cancel it. That okay. and also, um, we, so we are next month, we're going to do a show about this, but we'll talk about it now too. Uh, the Buffy High School hardcover mm -hmm. from Boom. Is it called High School something? Something. I don't something. Know year years i don't know am i making that up i don't know but i'm excited about that <laughs> but yeah um yeah all new wolverine omni which finally we're getting um i'm really excited about the uh batgirl on the bus hopefully will happen um yeah. except got that one on my list uh i know there's other omnis i want to buy that uh, that dr afra omni yeah, I did too. Uh, just because the cover is cute. But yeah, I can't. It's, you know, I used to follow, before when I went to my buying man, I used to follow all of the solicits for the year, and I haven't really been doing that. So yeah, I don't know. I think um, non omnibus thing, like new, new thing that's coming out, I'm just really excited for Future State in general by DC. Um, I'm just really excited for the new Wonder Woman. Like, I'm excited for a new Breath of Life into DC Comics that hasn't been there. Now, I am probably being overly optimistic, but it's just nice to have something to look forward to. Yeah. So. Be positive about it. Uh, Robin says, Tom Taylor and Nightwing. Oh, that'd be good. And our girl, Mariko Tamaki on Detective Comics, which is my favorite. Yeah. I like Detective Comics way more than Batman. I'm definitely going to read that. I love her. Oh, and uh, Ram V on Swamp Thing. Oh, yeah. That's a good uh, lineup. I know. That's a good lineup. I know. Ugh. Ugh. So good. 
Oh, looking also, towards that Swamp Thing on me by Snyder. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I kind of want that because it goes with the Animal Man one. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. I think I need that. More Swamp Thing. I love him. I'm excited to read more because I haven't. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, tea Dragon Tapestry is coming out next year. It was pushed back to next year. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope we get like some board game expansions too for that. Cause like every time she got the new book, I'm like, I'll buy the board game too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, more adventure zone, um, right new critical role stuff. So like oh, they are fun. continuing the Vox Machina origins, but we're also getting the mighty nine origins, which is their season two characters, mm. which I like their season two characters more. Um, cool. You would like it. It's gayer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it's, it's good. Um, there's a big strong lady, and there's two big strong ladies. There you go. I'm, I'll be cosplaying one of them eventually when Colin's return. So, uh, Boom did mock uh, Mariko dirty with her Willow Run. They gave her such a small friend of said it, so nothing much could happen. It was just boring. Oh, I wondered about it. I'm so behind a Buffy. That's another goal I'm I have kidding. for next year. I'm gonna like get caught up on that and <laughs> Me properly too. read it. I just keep buying the trades as they come out. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm, ner I'm nervous about that because, yeah, like with Boom, I don't feel like I get to have the writers and artists for that long with series on that on those kind of series. Yeah, I'm like always well, really and out. I already tossed Angel in the trash, so yeah, I, I might as well get the trades for that because <laughs> they're never going to come out with the hardcover. That's for sure. Yeah, I've been buying <laughs> the trades like, in the hardcover. <laughs> why do I have it? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do the same. Whatever. Yeah, supporting it. For, for, yeah, why not? We care. do that. We do that all the time for Buffy. <laughs> yeah, if, if nothing that. else, I'll do it for yeah. Buffy. So always, that's okay. Definitely. <laughs> Me and Chris are gonna try and make a reading goal video later today. I want to see that's that. That's right. That's right. I got a lot of goals. You know, I didn't set any this year, and I'm like, I'm doing this specifically for reading. There's some stuff I want to read through. Of course, One Piece is the first. I'm first stoked. So and terrified. <laughs> terrified for like, me? Well, I'm like, I just, I... We start the show and I'm like, oh, I hated this. I know, that's what I'm worried about. Like, <laughs> I because think that's going to happen. It's like a, okay, One Piece is like a cult. Kind of. So like, because I used to do, I used to do these like, um, Oh, Gary asked, can you do One Piece on an app? Yeah. yeah. So our recommendation, and I'll put this in the graphic I put out too, but the best, probably the easiest way to read One Piece uh, is through the Shonen Jump app. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer or whatever. Um, it's like $3 a month, and you can read up to 100 chapters a day, and they have all of One Piece on there. So that's just the easiest way to do it. The interface is good. Yeah, that's it's, what I recommend. It's really smooth on the phone. Uh, if you have yeah. a tablet, I've used both, and they're really, really nice. It's a good app, and it's two dollars a month, like you said. <laughs> I mean, you're literally not going to beat it. Like we we oh, talk about it all so the time because it's so good, and there's so much good in it. So if you get the app, come back and let us know. We'll tell you what to read. Oh I'm yeah, Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Do Man. It. Oh. Do it. Chainsaw Man. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I used to do a panel because I did a lot of panels at conventions. I used to travel, and I would get like get in for free for doing panels or whatever. Um, and I, I did a panel called uh, One Piece Isn't That Long. And so I would talk about the different ways you could get into One Piece. Because I, I would take commonly said like phrases, people like, I don't want to get into this because of the art or because of this or whatever. And I'd be like, well, here's ways to make it accessible or if you're looking to get your friend into it, here's things you can say, basically. <laughs> Um, that like, is healthy. Yeah, I know. But it was fun. It was like a little counter That's argument funny. to be like, hey, well, I like the art. Or maybe you like the manga because the manga is much more beautiful and the art develops over time. Or like, hey, I can't get into it. Well, start later. Or you don't have to watch it all in one go. Or watch the movies, you know, see what you think. There's there's ways. Um, or like I talk about character diversity and like character growth because other manga, sh shonen mangas do not have character growth across the board it's like three people right yeah not, but this not, not one piece everybody grows everybody gets developed um but at the end we would finish about like you know 
30, 40 minutes in, we'd have time over. Surprise, that happens with all of my things in life, not just our show. But at the end, everyone would do, it was like, we didn't mean for this to happen, but it would end up being everybody's testimonials. It felt like they would get emotional. That's funny. Because people would be like, yeah, like, this is how I got into One Piece or like, you know, whatever. Because we 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 had like brought up as like a, hey, if if you haven't watched One Piece, you think you will now. Or like, or if you like have been a One Piece fan, you can like tell us about how you got into One Piece or whatever. And people would have these really emotional connections with the manga. Like, and I did too. And so we'd have these things like, I've met friends this way, like... Or like my mom, like we watched it with her, you know, or like all this stuff. And everyone would just be like. <laughs> Everyone's crying. It was, yeah. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Like One Piece fans, I don't understand. Like 99% of them are like the nicest people I've ever met in my life. That's It's great. so weird. So anyways, oh. that was my long term run to be like, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. <laughs> I get that. You know, I've never understood the long thing though. Because I'm, I'm aware that it's not short. But at the same yeah. time, I mean, if you've been reading like Batman for the past 20 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's true. Yeah. If you think of any other big title, it's very similar uh, and probably not probably not going to take you as long. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And consistent, at least. Yeah. The art, you know, the art develops. Right. Mm. But it's the same person. Yeah. Which is exciting. For 20 just... years. <sighs> You just never see that for Western titles, right? No. Like, it's like, I mean, I'm even trying to think of one, and I'm just like, mm, no, <laughs> like, no. I can think of like a lot of like comic strips and stuff like that, which yeah. I love because of that too, right? Mm-hmm. I can only think about like Terry Moore. <laughs> like that's the closest yeah. I've got. Well, like, because... it's not even been that long, right? Like, no. he's been doing stuff for a bit, but like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Lloyd asks, do rereads count towards your goal? Yes. Christmas. One, I don't do many. But two, if I read it, yeah, I read it again. So that counts. Also, Goodreads does rereads now. For a long time, they didn't. Oh, that's neat. But I think within the past, like, you two change years, your rating then with the reread or like. If you want to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool because it'll tell you, like, you know, when you started it, when you ended it the first time and the second time, like it keeps track. Mm -hmm. So that's really neat too. Cause I'll go back to like a reread and be like, wait, when did I first read that three years ago? You know, it's fun, but yeah, oh that counts. God. Yeah, Man, I wish it was a system I wanted to, maybe it's cause like, yeah. it still shows all my old stuff too. And I don't want to think about it. Just start over. I need to start over. There's people on that like list. I'm not even friends with in real life anymore. I'm like, oh, God, I don't want you to see my, what I'm reading. Just I want you to know. Delete your account. Use a different email. Yeah. Start a new one. They should, can I, instead of writing, can I just do voice? Like, hey, this is what <laughs> Well, you know what I do? I just scan the barcode. That's it. Ooh, that's good. And it pops up and I'm like, okay, I'm reading it. Cool. And when I'm done, I'm like, hey, I finished it. That's two stars. And then I'm done. Oh, I like that. All right. <laughs> I'm in the cult of Goodreads and I want to convert you. <laughs> I know. And I, I like the idea of it. It's just... I understand. I it's not for everyone. Yeah. I'm just a big nerd about it. I need to be even more simplified, which is silly. I mean, but it's still I, a process. I do, yeah. have, I, I do have my bullet journal that will be prepared and ready. Yeah. Whatever's Com important. Complete with my, like I've already shown, my kitty stickers. Oh, so good. So we're good. I bought so, so many good. stickers. Oh, stickers just are for the best. This. I know. I know. Because I bought a planner. I think I told you already. But yeah. I bought a planner just for reading this year. Because I have a planner. But then I was like, it's too convoluted. There's too much. I don't want my appointments with this. Not that I have many appointments. Me, no. <laughs> I keep track of my work schedule and stuff. This one's for reading. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited cool. to see what you end up reading. Yeah. Well, well One Piece is what I'm reading next. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, am I going to read anything else? Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. I just hope it hits you at one point. You're like, okay. Because I think at the beginning, I didn't like the beginning as much. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and I cried I, over and over again. I was like, oh, God, I don't know. This is fine. Mm -hmm. But then I hope it hits the point where you're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I well, get it. the good news about having that goal of a thousand is- You have to read it all. <laughs> I got to read it all. So <laughs> I'm already committed. It's happening. 
And then like 400 chapters in or whatever, you get to meet my favorite boy. Ooh. And earlier than that, you get to meet my cat's namesake, which will be exciting. Aww, that's fun. Yeah, Nico Robin. Love it. She's she's wonderful. Okay. great. Um, I was empty inside, had no logical way of tracking my reading. The good reason came to my life and the world is shiny <laughs> new. Join this Yeah. Thing. I should because I forget what I've read all the time. Me too. Like, That's why I have to go back and be like, what? Are, okay, good. I have no idea what I read this year. No. So tomorrow's episode is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, we'll be back tomorrow, by the way. Normal oh, yeah. time. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, 7 p.m. Central. <laughs> uh, reading or talk, talking about our like top picks of the year. Yeah, um, I got that together, too. I've got to remember because I don't. I'll, so. uh, do you remember what categories we did last year? <laughs> like publisher. Oh, shit. We did, didn't we? Yeah, I'll I'll figure it out. We'll have to go back and watch it again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What were we like last year? The same. It's probably so different. My camera quality is better. Oh, mine too, I think. <laughs> but my background's a mess. Until next week. <laughs> next week I'll be in front of books and it's not a clean mess. A bike. Well, there's also this. Oh, those, my, the, the, everything in front of here that. that you can't see is terrifying. <laughs> this yeah, deck is fucking. <laughs> I mean, my I got some like dust jackets around for no reason. You know, I got some stuff too. <laughs> uh, Nicole says I'm not allowed to read anything else until I finish the Mass Effect Omni. Lee, I need you to finish it so I know you can tell me if it's good. Because Ellie and I've been talking about Mass Effect a lot lately, so I need to know if the book's good. Because I miss Mass Effect a lot. So, <laughs> well, yeah, we did it. We did it. That's our show. <laughs> I know I'm acting like this. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. This was fun. We're going to put together our list sometime today. I keep forgetting it's Saturday, to be honest, because I, I started working last night. <laughs> so I've been awake since last night, and I'm confused <laughs> forever. I was like, we're back tomorrow. What do you mean? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it is tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, make sure to check out In Stock Trades. Um, as a reminder, if you're catching us later and you're like, do they talk about the manga at all? We did. We gave it a two out of ten. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a completionist. Uh, it's pretty. But if you really want it, at least you can get it for a good deal on InStockTrades.com. That's right. It is very pretty, very oversized. It's nice. Also, heads up, if you're a manga fan, today is the last day of Ride Step Manga Sale, and they're bringing back all their sales for the holiday season. Why tell me this? I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm can... so tempted by it. We can talk. Okay, we'll end the show and then you can talk about our purchase. Okay, good. Um, I hope you all. <laughs> I hope you had a good holiday season. I hope we continue to have a good holiday season because I guess that go keep going. Uh, yeah. Stay safe. Uh, don't spoil Wonder Woman for anybody. Yeah, don't do it. Don't it's do not it. nice. We'll see you tomorrow.